Good morning guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie and today is going to be a super early in the morning perfume unboxing because honestly that's the only time I have to do perfume reviews anymore. So, I will start off by saying that this is a fragrance that I have wanted since 2018. That's when I first tried it. Absolutely fell in love with it. I got a, a replica of it from Precious Pearls. Blew through that 30 ml rather quickly than what I expected. Um, didn't know anything about this particular brand. So it was my first exposure to this brand and the first time ever trying something from this genre. Um, I always kind of steered away from it because I just thought, honestly, it's just too simplistic for me type. But after I blew through that, I then was able to get it off of Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. So that was the first company that came out with it in an oil. Um, I raved about it so much on my channel that um, it popped up on theirs. And then from there, I noticed that Generic Perfumes got it. So I have been able to try both of their oil concentrates over the years and also Precious Pearls. And I will tell you guys before I even show you the box, it smells just like it. Um, but there is one thing that I have noticed uh, when my friend from Tennessee came up here. Oh, I think it was after I came back from Tennessee in January. I had two bottles of it. I had um, one from Universal that was already created in a spray and one from Generic Perfumes. And he actually took one of them home because he actually liked the, the scent of it. But I noticed it smelled different on him. Like it seemed like it smelled more masculine on him. Like um, the, it's a pretty simplistic perfume as far as the notes go, but like the green note really popped out on him and I could smell it more on him. Whereas on me, I felt like I smelt more of the seawater. Like that note projects more on me and that's what I get. So that's just a little scoop guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this beauty is. I did pay $279 for this. Uh, I have waited so long to get this at a good deal. Now, most of my expensive perfumes in my collection, my husband has bought. I personally have tried to stay under $100, but the most that I've went over is $150. So this was actually an expensive purchase for me out of my own pocket as far as on one particular fragrance. But this has been like the most wanted fragrance that I've ever wanted out of any perfume. And I'm talking more than Baccarat Rouge Extrait. Now this one is up there. I now have three Holy Grails. I have La Vie Belle, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait, and this particular one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show It comes in three boxes, guys. This is crazy. So here it is. This is the fragrance that I got. Oh my goodness. Let me start off by saying the presentation after I start doing this is crazy. Uh, Zhergoff, Zhergoff. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but you know, it's just how I pronounce it. This has been my most wanted perfume. And I'm talking more than the Roja Dove Oceana. This smells better than that. Um, actually, the Oceana, the more I try it, the more it has, it's kind of leaning more slightly masculine. So this will definitely be more of a grab. But, oh my God, I could not believe I found this for $279. And it is, in fact, the 3.4 ounce bottle. So I'm going to start off by that. It came like this. And then it has the little flap. I don't know if it was supposed to be like that or I ripped the box, but I definitely don't see any rippage. And, oh, sorry, guys. There's the box. Like, they ain't playing with these perfumes, guys. Like, they box them up good. So this is the Eau de Parfum. I think that's the only concentrate it comes in. But I can, even at $279, when I show you the actual interior box, you'll understand why it is that. 
Like, I feel like it's, it's a $200 perfume, well worth $200, but then when you go to add the presentation to it, it really, you see where the extra is going. So, here is the box. Hopefully, I'm not holding it wrong. It's the traditional red box. It's absolutely beautiful. This will probably be one that I keep just because it is so nice. Um, I didn't get these kind of boxes with the Roja Dove one. And that's because Roja Dove, um, I don't know if it's how they're trying to make it more affordable for everybody. Because I just got like some plastic boxes with the... Well, I might have got a nice one with the Oceana. Like, it had a nice little presentation, but neither one of them were super nice like this. So, honestly, I was like, I could care less about the box. Now, here is the particular fragrance. Um, this is like some weird material. It's almost like it's heavy duty. It's not like no cheap type. Oh, my God, I can smell this. It's so pretty, but. So, I'm going to try and do my best without this thing flopping down. So, there it is, guys, without me dropping it out of there. I always thought this was a blue bottle. And it is, but it's like a bluish purple. And that was another thing that, I don't know, ever since I've gotten married and had a navy blue wedding, I've been really drawn to dark blue things. So... This right here, it's it's like suede, or it's like a really nice, sturdy material. So, just this itself, I could see where you could spend the extra money on this case. But, it's all about what's inside of that box. So, here is the fragrance, guys. As you can see, like, on camera, it looks kind of purplish. But actually, in my room, it's blue. So, it's almost kind of chameleon-like. But I have been trying this out, and guys, it smells just like what they have in the perfume oils. Um, but I just really, really wanted a Zhirgoth, and this is the one that I knew I wanted on my radar. This one, it's beautiful. It's a woody, cedar, sea note, salty, green fragrance. That's it. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I'm not really into aquatic fragrances, but after, uh, falling in love with this one, it, it's kind of made me want to kind of venture into that genre. Guys, here's the cap. It's heavy as crap. When you put it on the bottle, you can kind of hear it rattle. <laughs> it's heavy. The bottle itself is super, it's heavy. I mean, because you've got that solid glass base down there. I don't really particularly, I don't think this is like the original style. I think this is like the revamped style. Because I feel like the old style, like when I was first looking at it in 2018, it was slightly different. It definitely didn't say JTC, but I believe that's like the collection line. But yes. So, this has been my baby that I have wanted for quite some time, guys. And it was definitely worth the money because I know I've loved it in the spray from Precious Pearls. I've loved it in the oils from Generic Perfumes and Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. But I really wanted to have at least one in my collection. And this has always been the one. And to get it for $279, I was just like, okay, I'm going to splurge. And I did, and I'm glad I did, because it's absolutely beautiful. So I can confirm now, guys, it does smell exactly the same. I get a lot of people to ask me, well, have you tried it in the name brand? I'm trying it now, and I have the oil coming to do a comparison, but honestly, I don't need to do a comparison. I had it made into sprays, and I know what it smells like. But the only thing, like I said, that I noticed in the beginning of the video is on me, because it only has woody, cedar, um, seawater, salt, and um, green notes in it, is really the seawater is really amped on me. I can really smell that more. And I even did a test, guys. Um, the one that I have in a spray from... Oh, it might be from Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. 
I sprayed that on me. Of course, my daughter's like, oh my God, you smell good. Well, then I was wearing this on Saturday. And my daughter, again, complimented me. So this is definitely something that even my daughter, who is 19 years old, found very attractive. She was like immediately complimenting me on it. It's not anything that's offensive. It's a really, really good fragrance. And I feel like you could wear it year round, even though it's definitely more appropriate in the summertime because it's an aquatic -y. As I've said many, many times in my video, the only way, this is like one that takes you places, kind of like the Martin Margiela's, Margiela's, or like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, but this would be like their interpretation of sailing day. Because this is what it honestly reminds me of, but a way on a whole nother higher quality level. You're on an expensive yacht. Um, you're smelling like the expensive wood from the boat. You get the saltiness from the ocean and that aquatic um, watery element that comes from the ocean. Now for me, I don't really detect a green note. I smell more of like a sun. You're out in the sun, so more like a solar note. And it could just be the way the um, the seawater and the salt is playing on it. But that's what I smell. Now, when my friend from Tennessee had it on, I smelt more of the green notes. And I don't mean like some seaweed or moss. Um, but it definitely has like a green vibe to it. Um, I'm trying to think of which one I got from what perfume it is that I've been obsessed with that has a really good green note in it. I can't think of it, but that's, that is one thing that I noticed immediately. I was just like, wait a minute, I'm picking up on a different note for me and a different note for him. So I just have to fair warn people that may be looking into this, what you smell or what, how it's reacting with your body chemistry, you may pick up on the green notes more, like those may project more. Whereas on me, I'm getting more of the salty, aquatic note from this but there it is guys keep it short and simple there is the new fragrance that i have to my perfume collection i am so stoked like i can finally feel like i can check this off my bucket list um as far as rose de dove goes that was another brand that i really really wanted fragrances in but after purchasing two of them the oceana and uh, poor fuck poor or Femme Pour, look, I can't even talk. Uh, Pour Femme, the Elixir Pour Femme. I honestly will not repurchase a Roja Dove. I feel like maybe back in 2018 when I was looking at the brand, when it was quite a bit more expensive than it is now, I think the quality was much higher uh, as far as the strength goes. But as of now, I feel like they're super... They're like medium, whereas this is still banging. This is like definitely strong, but not like beast mode. So these are definitely going down in price, which is good because it makes it more affordable for a lot more people, but it's still not something that everybody can buy. But the quality is not being compromised as the price is going down. Whereas I noticed that in Roja Doves, it was so if you're kind of wondering between the two, as far as Roja Doves, Oceana, and this one, the 40 Knots, I would highly recommend this one, not only to save yourself money, but this one's stronger, it's better, it's very unisex, and it's just a great fragrance that, in my opinion, even if it's out of season, is still going to smell really, really good. The fun thing about this is going to be seeing how it reacts in the winter time it is early spring here and it's still smelling like that smell that i remember smelling last year so there you go guys if you have any questions or comments about jergoff's 40 knots definitely put it in the comment section down below hope you guys enjoy checking out my early morning unboxing and as always guys you have an awesome day and happy perfume shopping bye guys Thank you.